three games from the 1960-61 season. Two of them will involve the New York Rangers playing the Maple Leafs. The other a March 18th battle between the Leafs and the Boston Bruins. The Maple Leafs finished second to Montreal in 1959-60 and Punch Imlach, retooling of the Leafs is almost complete. Arriving is Dave Keon along with Nevin who would finish 1-2 in the Calder Trophy balloting, helping put some final pieces into the Maple Leaf puzzle as they move on to the Stanley Cup years in the 60s. 1960-61 was also Frank Mahovlich's magical assault on the 50 gold plateau, something only Rocket Richard had done previously. The Rangers have missed the playoffs the previous two seasons, and Al Pike has replaced Bill Watson behind the Rangers bench. The kings of the courted castles tonight are Gump Worsley for the New York Rangers, and for the Toronto Maple Leafs, it's Johnny Bauer. Because we're taking you back to October 8, 1960, the Leafs and the Rangers at the Garden, you're watching Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leafs TV. Four Rangers would hit the 20-goal plateau this season, led by Andy Bathgate, a Hart Trophy winner in 1958-59, who would score 29. Little Camille Henri would notch 28, and Andy Spuds Ebenton would score 26. Red Kelly would spend much of the year setting up the Big M and finish with 50 assists and 70 points. Dave Keon would win the Calder Trophy with a 20-goal season. Leonard Red Kelly arrived in the NHL after a Memorial Cup season with the St. Michael's Majors in 1947. As a defenseman with the Detroit Red Wings, Kelly won four Stanley Cups, three Lady Bing trophies, and the Norris Trophy as the top defenseman. Sent to the New York Rangers with Billy McNeil for Bill Gadsby and Eddie Shack in February of 1960, Kelly and McNeil refused to report, and subsequently, Kelly was dealt to the Leafs for Mark Rayholm three days later. Punch Imlach would turn the all-star defenseman into an all-star center and four more Stanley Cups would follow and Leonard Red Kelly has joined us here tonight to talk about three games back in the 1960-61 season starting with the game with the New York Rangers. But Red, the 60-61 campaign uh, really sets the tone for what's going to happen through the course of the, the, the next decade or half decade when the Leafs would win four Stanley Cups. But you have... Uh, this big lanky kid uh, that's uh, from up north uh, parading up and down the left wing that's got the big magical stride and the great shot and he takes a major league run at 50 goals in the season. Yeah, he almost uh, had 50. It was unfortunate that he didn't. He, he had about three or four games to go at the end where he could have scored it, and uh, but didn't. It happens that way sometimes. But uh, Frank was a big, a big uh, man Long strides, as you say, a uh, beautiful skater, uh, could break loose from his check, uh, get the reach, had the reach around the net, uh, the long reach, uh, he could fool a goaltender by pulling the puck from one way to the other, you know, and uh, uh, reach out and score the goal, and uh, he, he knew where to get, he knew to find the hole. So if I could get the puck, I knew if I could get the puck out to him, he'd be in that hole, and, uh, and he was, and he could put it in the net. Red, did you ever play forward as a kid and uh, maybe growing up? And, and when did the transition, uh, did, did, did you play defense all the way through? No, I played, uh, I played different positions. I played, uh, when I started at St. Mike's in Midget, uh, I played uh, on the wing. And uh, we won the Midget Championship that year. And uh, we were like the third or third line just made it uh, I got cut from the A's I got cut from the B's after one practice Boy, those coaches aren't very bright no, they were. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how did they cut Red Kelly yeah. what the heck was the matter with that I was lucky to hang on to the, to the midget so that's the way it went and uh, so I played uh, I was moved back to defense by Joe Primo uh, when I went to, to A's, they were short on defensemen, so he moved me back to defense. And uh, when I went to Detroit, uh, they moved me up to the forward line on the wing with Billy Taylor. And uh, that lasted through training camp, and then they moved me back to defense uh, when the season started, and uh, I was the fifth defenseman. So then I played defense most of the time uh, until I came to Toronto. So when Punch Imlach decided to move the all-star Norris uh, Trophy winning defenseman to forward, Maybe at the time it wasn't as an earth-shaking uh, maneuver as maybe some of us who look back on it now and just look <laughs> at the statistics and say, how could they possibly have done that? Uh, I, I, it didn't matter to me where I played. Uh, the thing was, I got to play. 
Uh, hockey is hockey. Wherever you play, you're out there and you're playing the game. Not sitting on the bench, but out on the ice playing the game. So it didn't matter really where you played. And if you played forward, after playing defense, I knew as a defenseman where I would like the forward to be, you know, to get the pass, to help me out along the board, and vice versa. So you, you, it was sort of beneficial. Now, the fact that you were a, uh, a puck-carrying defenseman and, uh, and liked to lug it out and had offensive talent back there uh, obviously makes this transition a lot easier, too. Yeah, I mean, I, if you're going to put some plumber up there like Bob Bond with that big stick, uh, he can't be playing so uh, nice. Uh, <laughs> Bob was a great competitor, and uh, but uh, come on, we're not going to have him play center except for that no, one faceoff he took. I think, wasn't and he scored a big goal, you know. You yes, I, I remember that, yeah. but it was from where he was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I always carried the puck uh, way back in minor hockey up in Port Dover and Simcoe. Uh, I I could carry the puck down the length of the ice, and I always did. That was. Uh, that was the way it was. It was part of the game. Part of the game. All right. Red Kelly has joined us, and we're going to take him back to parts of the 1960-61 campaign. We're going to look at uh, parts of three games because of the situation in the uh, finding all of these games and the collections that are available. Sometimes all of the games are not there. So we're going to piece three of them together to make our show tonight. We're going to have some fun with Red along the way because we're taking him back to 1960-61. You're watching Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leafs TV. Bert Olmstead scores for Toronto in the first period and Brian Cullen scores for the Rangers. We're going to pick up the play-by-play -play action in the second period from the gondola along with Bill Hewitt. The score is 2-1 to one in favor of the New York Rangers over the Toronto Maple Leafs. And the New York Rangers are just picking up a penalty with Ballon going to the penalty box. That'll give the Maple Leafs the odd man playing six men to five. In the first period, it was a 1-1 tie with Olmstead op opening the scoring from Kelly and Nevin at 11-15 with Gansby of the Rangers off. Then Brian Cullen tied it up with Bathgate assisting at 15-12 with 1-1 into the first period. Ballon, the Ranger rookie, just scored at 6 58 of the second period with Cullen and Bathgate assisting. Ballon is a rookie for the Rangers from Three Rivers. On the face-off, the puck is down the ice in Maple Leaf territory. Number 22 is Hillman to Red Kelly. Red Kelly, number four, leading a three-man rush. Over the line to Olmstead, back to Mahavlis. The shot right in front. just failed to deflect the, the shot as Worsley made a great save. Hillman, number 22 of the Leafs, starting out again. A pass ahead to Olmstead, number 16. Olmstead comes over the line, takes a shot, closes in from the side, gets in front of Spaz, instead of a shot, went wide. That happened to number 12, picks it up ahead to Howell, number 3. Cut was shot wide, it comes over to Olmstead, 16, and the Leaf player starts out. A pass to Kelly, ends up on Nevin's stick. Nevin took his shot, that was wide off a leg. Rangers try to get it out. Nevin, number 11, digs it up along the board. It goes to Olmstead. Olmstead carrying it around to Hillman. Hillman's shot was wide. Comes back to Kelly. Kelly working from the side, passes to Mahavlich. Mahavlich shot it, and Worsley covers up. Olmstead digs it out. Gets it back to Kelly. Kelly was checked, and out comes the Rangers with Sullivan, number seven, Heavens and 12 trailing. Sullivan went in, took his shot. Bauer made the save, and Mahavlich got the ice. And Heavens got a breakaway. Three of them going in together. And it was a hot time for Puck is held against the boards for a face-off. Direct Great chance there as they caught the New York Rangers napping when they had every man out of position on making a change. On the faceoff, Brewer gets that, takes a shot to Armstrong, and he deflected it wide. Rangers still playing a man short. It comes back to Bond. Bond took his drive, and that was just wide. And they hold the puck against the back of the Ranger net. Worsley looks up at the penalty clock, and there's about one second left in the penalty to... Ballon, who was standing up in the penalty box, just getting set to come back on the ice. 
On that last play, Morrison made a desperate rush to cover up for all the rest of the Rangers and was able to outgas Nevin, and he just took him out of the play. Cutting the pace off, Armstrong of the Leafs has the puck in the corner, number 10 to Harris, 15. Harris tipped the puck to the other side. Morrison and Armstrong caught together. Puck is held against the boards for another face off as the Rangers have returned to full strength. Maple Leafs in the dark uniforms, New York Rangers in the light. That's the New York Ranger players bench, east side of Maple Leaf Gardens. Up to this point, there have been six penalties in the game. The Rangers have had four and the Leafs two. From the face off, New York Rangers clear the puck into the corner. I'm strong. Number 10 of the Leafs fights for it. Gets it to Harris, 15, right in front of the top nine, and he missed it. Miller took a swipe at it. The Rangers go after it, and they leave the back uniforms. I'm strong, number 10, being blocked. The pass for Duff. Picked over the line. Harris tried to get loose, and it's the Rangers bringing it out. A pass over on this left wing to Ronson, 17. He took his shot, and Duff gets away on the left wing. Duff going to center, skated off neatly by Schinko, who clears to Hampson, 22. Hampson's pass went astray, and Harris, 15, in charge. The Leafs go up. Harris was stopped by Hampson. Hampson coming back, gets away from Bond, tried to flick it in front, and Harris breaks it up. Harris to Duff. Duff going down over the line. Trying to get the hit down. Guy Worsley on Duff, who was right in. Duff did the slide, Kelly slide there after making his shot. Worsley was brilliant. In fact, both goalkeepers have been outstanding in this game so far. Worsley for Rangers and Bauer for the Leafs. That time it was Bauer, it was Worsley's turn. And Duff has been playing a very strong game tonight after just signing late this afternoon. He seems to be full of determination and has made a few brilliant rushes. That was one of them. On the face-off, New York Rangers in their own territory working it out. A pass for Hampson failed to click. Ronson, number 17, is... Gets it out in front, and Mahomlich goes down the left wing. Kenny Chuck, Kelly up to the number four. Mahomlich going right in the wall, he shoots. The rebound, Hellman shoots. That hit a leg. And it's grabbed off by Schinkel. Rolled out to center ice to Ronson, 17. The Ranger player goes down, takes his shot, and Bauer took it off to the side. Hampson took a shot wide. Mahopolis tried to get away as Bathgate let one go, but Hillman stopped that with his ankle. And Kelly, a pass for Nevin. Back to Kelly. Kelly and Mahopolis over the line. Mahopolis passes to Nevin. Nevin trying to get it back to the blue line. He did. Hillman couldn't get his shot. And can't be number four to Bathgate nine. Up over the leap blue line. He passed it right in front of the net. There was nobody there. There's going to be a penalty as Gadsby was taken out. Up over the line, and it's called back as a penalty, a delayed whistle on the penalty. And the Maple Leafs will play a man short. New York Rangers lead 2-1. to one. Hillman gets the penalty. He's a former Boston player, purchased during the offseason. And it's Hillman, 22, in the penalty box now, making a total of seven penalties in the game. The Rangers having four, and the Leafs three penalty. Twelve, twelve. The interference penalty to Hillman, the Leafs defense player. New York Rangers leading two to one. Puck out at center ice, cleared over on the wings. The Rangers have the odd man, Cullen number fourteen, slapping it wide, and twelve is Stewart of the Leafs covering up. He failed to get loose. Puck is still in the Maple Leafs zone. Hebbington rolled it in front. It comes back to Bathgate. Bathgate over to Gadsby 4. Right in front of the net. Allen took a shot. Vaughn dropped in front of it. He dropped in front of another shot. It goes loose. Allen trying to get his drive. Vaughn 
Both had himself 21 for the lead, so pass for Stewart, and then Vaughn was hit by Bathke. Here comes Bowen. Gets around Brewer, tried to pass it in front. Rangers keep it in, Hebbenton. Taking a pass, getting in front, took his shot, and it was deflected into the corner. Hopeford coming out himself, number 20. That is on blue line, over the checkered line at center, over the Ranger line. Goes in with a shot, and it's deflected wide. He gets it again, trying to trap it in the Ranger zone. He does, and there's no further play. Hosa getting quite a hand there for a good rush and then covering up to delay time while Hellman is still in the penalty box with 55 seconds of his penalty remaining. At Montreal, the Montreal Canadiens lead Boston Bruins 1-0 at the end of the first period, Moore having scored from Jeffrey on and Hickey at 10.45 of the first period in Montreal. Lining up for the face-off in New York Ranger territory to the left of Worsley. Stewart, number 12, in the circle. Coming in to take the face-off is the captain of the New York Rangers, Sullivan, number 7. Morrison leaves a puck for Propane, number 19, and Propane gets in full stride as he goes to center ice. Back over to Sullivan, number 7. He stops, keeps the puck in the leaf zone. Back over to Morrison, the shot. Knocked down by Bond. Hopeford clears it down the ice. And Hillman has 35 seconds left in his penalty. New York Rangers lead 2-1. New York Rangers having the odd man advantage, 6 men to 5. Hopeford ahead. And uh, Ingerfield couldn't control it. The lead shooting it back. Now then Morrison leads the attack. A pass to Propane, number 19 on the left wing. Bond drives the Ranger player into the boards. And they... They get wipe at each other. Now the shot right on. Bauer catches him on his leg, on his pad, and holds it for a face-off with Hillman having seven seconds left in his penalty. The referee is Dalton MacArthur, the two linesmen, Neil Armstrong, and Bruce Sims. Seven penalties in the game. Rangers having four, and the Leafs three up to this point. The Leafs outshot Rangers 11 to 10 in the first period when there were four penalties. Rangers getting three, and the Leafs one. Five minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the second period. Rangers leading two to one. Armstrong, number 10 of the Leafs, gets it out to Kelly. Went past his stick all the way back to Johns of the Rangers. New York Rangers. Clearing the puck in, they have Hampson at center ice. Ronson playing on one wing and Schinkel on the other. Bauer made a nice save on a drive by Schinkel, a backhand. Hillman is back on the ice. Stanley has returned to the leaf lineup. There was a delayed whistle on the puck being shot over the leaf blue line, and it comes back to center ice, just on the leaf side of the center checkered line. Harris, number 15, out now at center ice with Duff on one wing and Armstrong on the other. Hampson, Ingerfield, and Ronson. For the New York Rangers, Howell is number three on the defense with Johnson, with Johns, number five. Puck was taken by the Rangers. Hampson over to Schinkel on the right wing. He took his shot wide. Armstrong of the Leafs, number 10, carrying it for Duff. Duff in full stride, goes up to center ice, right, over the line, tried to go through, too well covered by Johns. Stanley brings it in offside. And it's offside outside the Ranger blue line. Four minutes and 58 seconds remaining in the second period. New York Rangers two, Auto Maple Leafs one. Armstrong of the Leafs carries in with a shot. Worsley steered it off to the side. Harris tried to cover his man. Jinko cleared it on the wing to Ronson, number 17. Ronson comes straight down the left wing to center over the checkered line, shoots the puck into the lead zone. Bauer slapping it off to the side. The Rangers trying to center it. Hampson clearing it back to Johns at the blue line. His shot was deflected wide. And Horton now comes out with Harris and Duff. Martin going to center, takes his shot wide, goes to the boards, comes right back to Harris, to center right in front of Duff, and he's shot wide on a backhand. 
Puck is deflected out over the blue line. Stanley covers up at his own blue line. Stanley number 26, a pass to Harris. A pass to Armstrong over the line. Armstrong closes in and shoots wide. And his shot was weak. Now then, Bathgate is on the ice. A long pass. And puts Hanson down the ice at center for the Rangers. Over the line, his shot. Bauer made the save on that. Olmstead knocked in on the boards. It goes to Harris. Harris to Stewart. Stewart failed to get away. And the puck is back in the Maple Leaf zone. Horton, number seven, handed it to Bathgate, but Stanley helped him out. And here's Bathgate, nearly getting loose. Near the Maple Leaf net. Horton heard it all the way to center. It's the Rangers with Bathgate over the line. A pass stopped by Harris. Harris to Olmstead. Olmstead tried to relay it back to Harris. And Harris is going off the ice and Pulford's on. Cullen coming in with Ballon, back to Ballon, and he shot it wide. Now then Olmstead ahead to Pulford. Pulford down at center, getting over the line, a roll pass. Fights for it. It comes over to Stanley, number 26. His shot was blocked, and Bathgate gets a break. One man back, Bathgate, number nine, takes his shot. Bauer made the save, cleared it off to the side. Rangers sent it across the goal mouth, and Brewer ahead to Olmstead. Olmstead takes a long shot, and Pulford is offside as he crossed the blue line. Lining up for the faceoff, Kelly with Mahomelich and Nevin, Vaughn and Brewer. Rangers have it, Propane number 19, clearing a pass to Gadsby number 4, Gadsby at center, he tried to tip it through, he did, Ingerfield gets ready to that ball, he sees it, oh! scores for the New York Rangers. And it's 3-1 to one for the New York Rangers. Over the Toronto Maple Leafs, Ingerfield. Getting through the Maple Leaf defense. The York Rangers lead 3-1. to one. That was Ingerfield clicking. On the faceoff, Brewer to Mohamed too far. And it's Spencer of the Rangers to Ingerfield to Popain. Went over the line. And Vaughn, 21, takes it behind the leaf net. Gets it ahead to Kelly to Mahavlik, too far. Rangers come back at center, Ingerfield shoots it into the lead zone. Seventeen forty-eight. Ingerfield from Gadsby. And the New York Rangers are leading 3-1, to one. they come in again with a shot, and a nice save by Bauer. Kelly comes back for the Leafs, over the line, trying to cut around the defense, he does, tried to pass it in front, and Nevin couldn't get his shot. It's Ingerfield coming back for the Rangers, his pass stopped by Brewer. Ingerfield carries on, and shot it into the Leafs zone, where Kelly gets it to Nevin. Nevin turns around, pass for Kelly to Mahovlich, he was broken up by Hanson. Vaughn ran into the Ranger player Shinko, and Nevin gets away from a check, tips it ahead to Kelly, Kelly going down over the line, closing in, waits, right in front of Nevin, a shot by on the play. New York Rangers three, Toronto Maple Leafs two. Leafs have Keon, Armstrong, and Duff facing Hanson. 
Hanson at center ice, Ronson on one wing, Tinkle on the other. Faceoff is close to the checkered line at center. Nineteen nineteen was the time of the goal by Mahovlich. We have twenty-five seconds remaining in the second period. Rangers shoot the puck out to center. Stopped by Stanley to Armstrong. Armstrong gets over the line with a pass to Keon. Keon dragged in on the board by John. And John of the Rangers held it there for a face-off with 10 seconds remaining in this second period. John's wearing sweater number five on the Ranger defense teaming up with Howell. From the draw, Rangers have it in the corner, trying to get it loose, five seconds, Worsley is knocked over, Armstrong is in the net with them. The bell goes to end the second period with Worsley and Armstrong, and Worsley may have been hurt on the exchange. Armstrong is beside him, now he gets up on his feet. And he's all right, and the teams are now getting set to skate off. And so, at the end of the second period, the score, New York Rangers 3, Toronto Maple Leafs 2. This game is being brought to you direct on the Maple Leaf Garden in Toronto by Imperial S.O. Dealers and Agents from coast to coast in Canada. The New York Rangers lead the Maple Leafs 3-2. to two. Frank Mahovlich has scored his first of the season from rookie Bob Nevin and veteran Red Kelly who joins us uh, here tonight and uh, read the Leafs uh, went after you uh, when things seemed to fall down with the trade to new, uh, the New York Rangers and they they got you because they wanted some depth down the middle they've added two young kids uh, this year uh, who are going to play integral parts in the in the not too distant future Bobby Nevin and uh, David Keon and both are very good players even though they're rookies. They're very good. Uh, Nevi was very good in close, a uh, good stick handler and, uh, and a good goal scorer and, and Davey of course was, uh, was very quick, very fast, uh, a good, a smart puck player, a good checker uh, and can score goals too so uh, it, it, it really added a lot to the team. You know, they, they developed a trophy uh, because of Bob Gainey's penchant for playing defense and, 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 and turned it into an award that is now given out to the best defensive player in the National Hockey League. They could very easily have named that after David Keon. Yes, they could have, yes. He was uh, a quick off the uh, mark. I mean, uh, when you change directions, you stopped or you started. Uh, that first stride or two, he would always have his nose out in front. He was always just a little bit faster. And uh, that made his checking uh, really good because he could stop and go quick. Now, he comes up uh, from junior hockey, and is he as adept at his defensive game at this point as he will later on? Or could you see that? Obviously, he's going to be improved because he's now playing with uh, the pros. But uh, did he have that intangible right away? Yes, he, he brought that uh, out of, he, it came with him. I don't know whether uh, Dave Bauer, uh, when he was at St. Mike's, uh, trained him in that or whether uh, Davey had that, probably had part of it before he ever came up to St. Mike's, but uh, it was maybe enhanced by uh, Bauer, you know, Father Bauer in, in uh, teaching him. So uh, the Leafs are starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together and, uh, and with, uh, I guess, really to come yet is Eddie Shack in a trade which will be later uh, but yeah. Bobby yeah <laughs> and that's a big piece of a puzzle that's <laughs> yeah. for sure yeah. um, Bobby Nevin is a guy that really kind of goes about his business without an awful lot of fanfare and right. and, and just seems to produce numbers where they have to be produced yeah, Bob was uh, played on my uh, wing and uh, with Frank uh, that was a line and uh, uh, he was Bob played his position quietly as you say uh, uh, but he was there, he knew where the hole was, and uh, uh, as I said, in close, he was a good stick handler. Uh, he would come up with the puck, or he'd make the good pass, or, or be in the hole to receive the pass. So it seemed to make our line really work well. 
I'm pretty sure he was pretty happy to be playing with Frank Mahovlich and Red Kelly, too. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm a rookie and I'm coming out of there. I think I got two pretty good guys to play with here. It's a combination. I was all over the hill, basically, or at least I don't know, the latter part of the hill. I'd, I'd already played 12 and a half years in the National Hockey League. Now I'm coming here and I'm playing with the youngsters, uh, Frank and, uh, and Rob, and uh, uh, they have the legs, you know, uh, I'm older, so uh, it was great for me to play with these young guys. All right, well, the Maple Leafs, they will finish 1-2 in the Calder Trophy balloting this year, as Dave Keon will win it, and Bob Nevin will finish second. And the Leafs trail the New York Rangers on opening night of 1960-61 uh, season as the Leafs trail 3-2 to two to the New York Rangers. You're watching Molson Canadian Maple Leaf Classics on Leafs TV. 3-2 in favor of the New York Rangers. Let's go back to Bill Hewitt for the third period. We're waiting for the team to return to the ice for the start of the third period. The score, the New York Rangers in the lead by a score of 3-2. to two. The Toronto Maple Leafs started off on the right foot in the first period after Gadsby had received a holding penalty, which he received at 10.06. And at 11.15, Olmstead cashed in on a rebound off Worsley after Kelly had shot from close in, and it was 1-0. Nevin also got an assist on the play, but Kelly actually made 90% of the play, working from the corner on Nevin's pass, coming right out in front, shooting a low shot that Worsley deflected to the side, and Olmstead slapped it back. River League's coming out, led by Bauer, and they, the players followed in, the dark sweaters. Brian Cullen tied it up before the end of the first period at 15-12, with Bathgate getting the assist. That made a 1-1 tie at the end of the first period. Four penalty. Leafs scoring with Rangers shorthanded with Gadsby off. And the Rangers had three penalties to the least one. In the second period, the Rangers outplayed and outshot the Leafs 14-8. There were three penalties in the second. Brewer of the Leafs, Fallon of the Rangers, and Hillman of the Leafs. Three goals. Ballon at 6.58 from Cullen and Bathgate for the Rangers to make it 2-1 for New York. And Angerfield from Gadsby at 17.48, make it 3-1 for Rangers. Then Mahovlich cut that to 3-2 at 19.19, Kelly and Nevin assisting. That's Nevin's second assist and Kelly's second assist of the game. 3-2 for the New York Rangers, and it's a tie 1-1 at Montreal at the end of the second period. Labine having tied the score for Boston from Tofazzini and Meisner at 18-12. Here's Bill Hewitt. From the face off, New York Rangers, Fontenato, number eight, tipping it to the Leafs defense. Horton cleared it right back to Morrison. Morrison takes a long shot. Bauer stops that right on his pad. And Bauer leaves it for Horton, number seven. Horton, the pass for Kelly, failed to click. Up is back in the Maple Leaf zone. Stanley, kicking at it, tipped off stride. Popain watches him, taps the puck against the boards and holds it for a face-off in the Maple Leaf zone to the right. It's very warm in the gardens, a complete sellout, of course. Almost summer weather in Toronto, around 70 degrees. Number 10 in the light jersey of Inglefield, centering the line with Hedmonton and Propane to the New York Rangers. Hedmonton is just to the right at the edge of the circle. Back to the blue line, Morrison shooting way wide, and Horton passes to Kelly. Kelly goes straight up the edge to center, up over the Ranger line, wait, knocked off side, Inglefield. A quick pass ahead to Hedmonton, number 12, and Stanley checked him, Mahomovich. Ran into Morrison, and there's going to be a penalty to Morrison for elbowing Mahavich. Mahavich very nearly walked into a penalty there by threatening to go back at Morrison, who gave the lead player the elbow, and Morrison is in the penalty box now, number two. He's 
former Detroit player, now taking his turn on the range of defense. Two minutes for elbow. Time, 56 seconds. Leafs now have the odd man. Mahomlich takes over at better. Nevin on the right. Olmstead on the left. Kelly is playing back on the defense with Stanley. New York Rangers have Howell and Gadsby on the defense. Sullivan and Copain on the forward line. Kelly up over the Ranger line. Back to Nevin. Nevin shot it into the corner. Mohamed stripping it to Kelly. It took a shot. Right in front of that. And it goes off into the corner. Comes back to off the board, but it didn't get it to Stanley. Sullivan to Howell. Howell number three over the line. Takes a shot. Let it go. It hits Stanley. Gets another try. Goes after it. Nevin skated him off. Number four is Kelly up the center. Over the line. Kelly back to Mahabalich. Mahabalich shoots. Kelly gets it again. Back to Nevin. Nevin lets his shot go wide. Back to Stanley. Stanley waits. Right foot to Kelly. His shot knocked down. Olmstead failed to get his drive. Nevin turns around. Takes it That was a sensational effort by Worsley, who, uh, as you notice, was flying flat on his back, and he got the back edge of his skate on that truck and moved it over in between his skates and held it there with quite a storming of players all around him. Worsley has been brilliant, and so has Gower. Really been a, a goalkeeper's deal in many ways. Howell is holding up the game while he's getting a new stick. Howell with the Rangers standing there by the Ranger bench. Number three. Rangers, still a man short. Morrison has a minute and 50 and five seconds of his penalty remaining. From the face-off, Nevin. Pass right to the Olmstead waits, got it behind the net to Nevin. Nevin goes after it. They all pile in against the boards, and Kelly comes up with it. Kelly closing in, passes to Nevin. Nevin passed it right in front of that. Ingerfield couldn't get it out. Stanley took a shot. That hit two players. And it's cleared, but not out. It passed to Mahomlich in the corner. Mahomlich centered it in front. Worsley was checked. The puck goes to Kelly, number four. Kelly goes into the corner, around behind the net, pass it out to the line, comes back to Mahovlich. Mahovlich turns, takes a shot, comes in himself, goes behind the net, still has it, pass it right in front to Olmstead, he hits the goal post. Olmstead hit the side of the net, goes behind the goal again, they're all trying to get a shot, it's passed, Olmstead still has it for the lead, coming behind the net, trying to get it in front to Stanley, Olmstead Rangers tries to cover up. They try to hold it against the board. The Leafs keep it in. Nevin passing to Olmstead. Back to Nevin. And he's trying to get his shot. But the screen down the ice. Bauer coming way out of his net. And he shoots it out to Armstrong. Armstrong is checked. Here's a chance for Hanson. And Hanson of the Rangers, 22 shot wide. The Leafs in their own zone. Gone ahead to Duff. Duff cleared it. Rangers break it up, shoot it back in. Armstrong up the leaps. Ahead to Harris. Harris goes racing down the ice. Into the corner. Duff gets a hold of it to Harris. Harris back to Duff. Duff trying to come out in front. Duff to Harris. He points it right to the Vaughn took his whack at it. And it was knocked down by Morrison, number two of the Rangers, and he shoots it out and down the ice. Brewer, number 18, is going to go back and touch it, and it's called for icing and a face-off back in the New York Rangers zone to the left. The Leafs put on tremendous pressure there when the Rangers were a man short. They literally hogged that puck for a good portion of the two minutes, but they were frantic around the net and couldn't get a a concerted drive going. They had that puck whizzing in all directions and Worsley was covering lots of territory. But the 
attempts were hurried. A pileup right after the faceoff along the board just inside the blue line in Ranger territory will necessitate another faceoff as Hampson, Ronson, and Chico are the three Ranger forwards facing Harris, Armstrong, and Duff. From the faceoff, Rangers clear it out and 18 is Brewer to Duff. Duff ran into a check. Now it's Morrison stopped by Bond. A pass for Harris. Harris goes over the line. Trying to get in set in front. Falls offside. Pass to Duff. Back to Brewer. Brewer takes a shot off Morrison. Brewer another shot. Knocked down by Duff. Duff trying to get in front. Takes a shot. Why? Bond got the right wing a shot. Knocked down by a Fontanato. Fontanato is jammed into the board by Harris. I'm strong on the leash. Gets it loose. Armstrong tried to center and he did. Back to Armstrong from Duff to Bond. His shot knocked down. Armstrong of the Leafs tried to keep it in and Ronson goes down the left wing number 17 with Schinkel. Schinkel's right in. And he's high. Bond of the Leafs coming back. Ripped up. Duff, Armstrong, and Harris. Over the line, Duff boy in. And he took his shot and was knocked down. Harris ran into his check. Number eight is Botnato. A long pass for Schinko. Schinko carried it over the line offside. It'll be a face-off outside the Maple Leaf blue line. And there's a change of players all around. This game is being brought to you direct from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. We played five minutes and 35 seconds of the final period. New York Rangers are leading 3-2. As Pulford number 20 gets a break for the Leafs with Stewart. Gopher went after his own pass, shot it behind the net. Eamon, helping him out, gets it back to Stanley. Stanley took his shot. That was the second wide. Eamon tried to kick it back to the fence, and it's Brian Cullen getting it ahead to Bathgate. Bathgate takes his shot. Bauer shot it off to the side. Stewart clears it back to Horton, number seven. Horton ahead to Eamon. Eamon going up at center. Over the line. Takes his shot. The rebound deflected off the board. Bathgate clearing it out. Horton a pass over to Pulford. Pulford takes his shot wide and Worsley went out of his net anyway to stop him. It's Spencer of the Rangers being watched by Pulford. He passed it right in front of him to Stanley. Stanley shoots wide. It's still in there. Stewart headed it back to the blue line. And it's a three-man break for the Rangers. Bathgate with Fallon over the line. Bathgate took his shot high off the glass. It's kept in. Cullen passing one for, to Bathgate, but it was deflected over the glass. Face off in the Maple Leaf zone. Kelly number four failed to get out. Brewer in the corner. Skates behind the net. Tries to bring it out, it's checked. Ingerfield watches him. Brewer is skated off by Ingerfield. And Kelly goes back to help him out. Kelly leading a three-man rush. A pass for Nevin was behind him. Lost control of it. Kelly and Nevin trying to get the puck loose. It's in the skates. Nevin gets it loose. Hits out the spot. Passes it to Hoffman trying to get it shot. And Ingerfield nearly started into his own net. It's the New York Rangers with Hamilton up over the line. Hamilton tried to go through. The Hobley touches it, and Brewer is going to get a penalty. Brewer upsets the New York Ranger player. Get it? They get a tripping penalty. That's a total of nine penalties so far in the game. Rangers having five of them, and the Maple Leafs four. Nine penalties up to this point in the third period. Three to two for the New York Rangers. And the Leafs putting on the pressure in this last period. Same time, they've been leaving themselves open for good chances by the Rangers. who have been using that quick forward pass to advantage to the center red line. They've been more adept at it than the Leafs. On the faceoff, Bathgate 9, back to Hebbington. Hebbington took his shot, knocked down by Stanley. 
It goes to the wing, Sullivan, the number seven. Passed it right in front. Stanley whacked it, but not out. Gadsby keeps it in. Passed it over to Cullen, right in front. And a shot, and another shot to score! Edmonton got the rebound and fired it home to make it 4-2 for the New York Rangers. Covington was the opportunist there for the New York Rangers standing off the goal crease. So when the rebound came out, Bauer had no chance as the Ranger player slapped it right back at him to the open side of the net. The Rangers have been real opportunists in this game and lead now 4-2. to Territorially, territorially, the Leafs seem to have had just as much of the play but their efforts haven't been nearly as clean cut around the net. From the face-off, it's Fontenato behind the New York Ranger net. Fontenato trying a pass off the boards to Hebbenton. Hebbenton, a pass to Popain. Popain goes through the defense, but was knocked down. And Armstrong gets it ahead, brings it out himself to Keon. Keon's over the line. Keon took his shot. A nice save by... Worsley, it's near the front of the net. Rangers trying to get the puck out. Eight oh five. Hamilton from Sullivan and Gadsby. Rangers unable to get away. Keon takes his shot wide. The puck is still in the Ranger zone, Hedmonton getting it out to Popain. Popain's pass to Ingerfield. Broken up. Dump. To Keon. Keon's over the line. Back to Dump. Dump fanned on his shot. Goes after it. Centered it across the goal ball. Ingerfield tipping it out. Kinkle goes after it and Stanley beat him to it. Armstrong turns around. Going in with Keon. Back to Keon. Keon takes his shot. That net was caught by Worsley. And he held on to it for a face-off. We have 10 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the game. New York Rangers 4, Toronto Maple Leafs 2. The face-off is in the New York Rangers over to the left, and the Maple Leafs are making a change now, sending out Kelly with Nedlin and Mahavlich. Brewer and Vaughn on the defense. On the draw, back to Nevin, a shot right to Kelly, and it was grabbed off by Worsley. The referee took a tumble there right from the face-off, and seemed to be out of the play, but got up in time to stop it in time. On the face-off, Kelly of the Leafs cleared into the corner. It's rolled out on the right wing, up to center ice. Shot into the Maple Leaf zone, and Ronson goes after with Nevin of the Leafs, number 11. Nevin has it. Being watched by the Ranger player. It's a chance for Schinkel, who fired wide when he was handed the puck. Another shot, and Bauer holds on to it for a face-off. Face-off will be in the Maple Leafs zone to the right. Hampson at center ice, Schinkel on one wing and Ronson on the other. And from the faceoff, Kelly going up with Mahavlich. A pass to Nevin, Nevin closes in, took his shot. Mahavlich goes behind the net, too well covered, couldn't get his shot. Cleared it behind the net to Nevin. Nevin shot it to the other corner and there was nobody there. Rangers failed to get out. Mahavlich, a weak shot. Rangers try it again. Hampson stopped by Brewer. Brewer turns to the checkered line. Goes over the Ranger line. Went after it. Ran into Howell. Hawkins is flying. Hampson of the Rangers is stopped. And they hold it for a face-off in the New York Rangers zone to the left. Brewer had a, a mix-up with the New York Rangers rookie defense player, John, who hails from Winnipeg in the Western League. The Rangers have quite a few rookies out there, and they seem to be fitting in very well, particularly Ballon, who has scored a goal and has been quite effective and dangerous 
on many a run. From the face off for Gadsby, a pass to Cullen, who tipped it off the boards down the ice, and 26 is Stanley of the Leafs, turning with it. His pass was broken up. Olmstead trying to work it along the boards, and it's held. And there's no further play. It's pushed ahead with a glove, and a face-off comes outside the New York Ranger blue line, almost in front of the penalty box. It's Cullen at center, with Bathgate on one wing, and Ballin on the other, number 11. Bauer stopped the rebound off the boards. Cullen covered Stewart, and Horton starts out. Horton straight up the ice to center, up over the line. Tried to get a shot, he was stopped, and the puck tipped out, and he goes after it himself. Horton again, over the line, Stewart helps him out, and it's offside. Face off is back outside the New York Ranger blue line, and the Rangers are starting to check to protect their two goal lead. They lead four to two, with eight minutes and 33 seconds remaining in the game. Olmstead shoots the puck over the line. Gadsby shoots it out. Horton takes a slap shot. And that was offside. Tomorrow, the Toronto Maple Leafs play at Detroit tomorrow night. Montreal Canadiens are at Boston. And New York Rangers are at Chicago. Puck is shot off the boards into the Ranger zone. Gadsby, number four, slapped it along the board. Ballon was hit. Olmstead centered it right in front of Stanley. Stanley shot a weak one, was knocked down, and Cullen goes down the ice. Ballon on his left, over the line, drop pass for Bathgate, and he shot wide. Puck is behind the net, and number seven is Horton. Horton ahead to Pulford, and Olmstead is going off the ice. Armstrong comes out with Duff as Bathgate shoots the puck into the lead zone. Armstrong is back for it. Seven minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the game as Armstrong, number 10, goes to center, over the Ranger line, into the corner, tried to pass it out in front, too well covered. Bathgate gets a hold of it, stopped by Harris, Duff ran into Ingerfield as Bathgate comes back over the line with Propane, and Propane just failed to get the pass. Now it's Brewer. Coming straight up the ice to center, up over the Ranger line, ran into Morrison, comes back to Bond, he shot it into the corner, Fontenato clears it right to Duff, he slapped it out in front of the Rangers, break it up and come down the ice, Ingerfield number 10, gets over the line, a pass out in front and a shot, Power made the save, and Harris goes after it, Harris going down the ice alone, goes over the line, Tried to go through the defense and was taken out neatly by Morrison. Fontenato shooting it ahead. Propane to Hebbenton. Hebbenton cutting in on the right wing. Duff took him out and shot the score! That's Ingerfield's second goal of the night. And he just floated in there, was uncovered in front of Bauer, who had little protection on the play, in fact none. But Ingersoll got away a beautiful shot from close in and picked the top corner and gives the New York Rangers a commanding lead, 5-2. To, to the side, and there goes the bell, the game is over. And the New York Rangers scoring two goals in the final period. The PC Toronto Maple Leafs five to two, and so the final score in tonight's game here at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto is the New York Rangers five, Toronto Maple Leafs two. In just a moment, the summary and the three star selection. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the three stars of tonight's game as chosen by Sweeney Schreiner. The first star, Lauren Duff Worsley of the New York Rangers. star, Andy Bathgate, New York Rangers. Third star, Red Kelly, Toronto Maple Leafs.
Well, watching the game, there was no doubt in my mind that Trump was the outstanding person on the ice because in the first two periods, I thought he came up with some very, very few saves. Uh, he was outstanding. He stopped at least four times again, and it looked like it was, it was just a matter of building up the uh, gold average, and uh, that was the reason for me picking uh, him as number one star. Mm -hmm. What about Andy back there? Well, watching Andy out there, you could see why the, the press and radio and TV people were always picking Andy as, as a great hockey player. Everything he did out there was so easy, so smooth, and he made two beautiful plays on the first two goals that the Rangers got. Mm -hmm. And all night long he was playing his position well. He covered up for the rest of his players when they were caught out of position. He did a tremendous job all night. And I love Kelly. Red Kelly is in a similar position for the Leafs. Uh, he's not skating as fast as the rest of the players, but he's always in position, making beautiful plays, and the first two goals that the Leafs got, he, he did a wonderful job. It reminded me of, of Billy Taylor and Silap setting up the plays in our days. Yeah, and any overall impression of the game? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, it was very fast. Uh, I still say the Rangers are still the Rangers of old with a tricky passing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see the Leafs come up with a little bit of that. I think they have a very good uh, team. Uh, they have a fast young team, but if they play their positions and pass a little, maybe we would have something.